edible films and coatings. What are edible films and coatings? Any type of material used for enrobing, that is, coating and wrapping, various food to extend shelf life of the product, that may be eaten together with food with or without further removal is considered an edible film or coating. What is the difference between an edible film and an edible coating? The main difference between these food systems is that edible coatings are applied in liquid form on the food, usually by immersing the product in a solution generating substance formed by the structural matrix. Carbohydrate, protein, lipid a multi-component mixture, and edible films are first molded as solid sheets, which are then applied as a wrapping on the food product. Why should we use edible films and coatings? Edible films provide replacement and or fortification of natural layers to prevent moisture losses, while selectively allowing for controlled exchange of important gases, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, and ethylene, which are involved in respiration processes. A film or coating can also provide surface sterility and prevent loss of other important components. Volatile compounds, gases, functional ingredients, antioxidants, antimicrobials, flavors, colorants, humidity, barrier properties. Barrier properties can influence different processes that occur in food products, such as Oxidation, texture changes due to loss of moisture gain, loss of aromas, etc., which affect the product final quality. Mechanical properties. They allow us to predict the durability of the edible film and at any given time the integrity of the food. Tensile strength is the maximum stress developed in a film when subjected to a stress test and the elongation percentage is the ability to stretch. Edible films and coatings composition Biopolymers Extracted from biomass Synthesized biomonomers Produced from microorganisms As a general rule, lipids are used to reduce water transmission, polysaccharides are used to control oxygen and other gases transmission and proteins provide mechanical stability. In some recent studies the production of edible and biodegradable films by combining various polysaccharides, proteins and lipids is considered with the aim of taking advantage of the properties of each compound and the synergy between them. The mechanical and barrier properties of these films not only depend on the compounds used in the polymer matrix, but also on the compatibility. Functional ingredients can be added in order to obtain different characteristics in the final product. These ingredients can be flavors, antioxidants, antimicrobials, colors, nutraceuticals, probiotics, etc. This way the edible film or coating becomes active. To characterize an edible film there are several analyses that need to be performed such as a determination of physico-chemical properties, barrier properties, mechanical properties and antimicrobial properties. In order
order to measure the physico-chemical properties of the edible film, we can measure thickness, opacity and total soluble matter. To determine barrier properties we must measure the permeability to different gases such as water vapor, oxygen and carbon dioxide. These tests measure diffusivity and mass transference in films. A tensometer is used to measure mechanical properties of films such as tensile strength, elongation, a young S modulus, etc. To determine antimicrobial properties, in vitro assays are performed versus microbial growth and we must now beforehand the minimal lethal concentration of the selected antimicrobials. Active packages. They can contain antimicrobials or antioxidants that can improve their quality and function. These compounds have the ability to extend shelf life and reduce the risk of foodborne pathogens. Some examples are bacteriochins, benzoates, propionates, parabens, sorbates, essential oils, nitrites, fatty acids and chitosan. There are several factors that need to be considered in order to apply an antimicrobial in the edible film or coating formula, such as chemical properties, amount allowed by law, composition and properties of the product, type and initial levels of the microorganism, cost, toxicity and that it doesn't affect food quality. Antioxidants. These compounds have the ability to improve the properties and functionality of the edible films and coatings. Some examples are tocopherols, gallates, ascorbic acid, BHT, BHA and phenols. apply edible films and coatings. The method of application depends to a large extent on the type of product to be coated. The direct application of the film forming solution can be carried out by the following methods. Dipping, aspersion and brushing. Dipping is used in the coating of fruits, vegetables and meat products. It is made in containers with the film forming solutions. After dipping, the product is drained and dried. Aspersion provides thin and uniform coatings, prevents excessive coating consumption. Brushing this method uses compressed air and is generally applied to packaging lines that have moving rollers to achieve even dispersion. The excess cover is removed with brushes placed underneath the rollers. The foaming cover contains a little water to facilitate the drying process. Blueberries Avocados, figs, 
Port Salut cheese. Chicken. Trout. An edible coating composed of alginate and chitosan was applied on figs. Good mechanical properties were obtained. There was also a decrease of the respiration rate and water loss, a retention of color and it had antifungical properties. Other edible coating made of quinoa protein, chitosan and sunflower oil was applied on blueberries. It displayed antimicrobials properties and a delay in ripening. Another edible coating with moringa extract, chitosan and carboxymethyl cellulose was evaluated on avocados. It decreased the respiration rate, maintained firmness, decreased water loss and delay senescence. An edible coating made out of quince seed mucilage, oregano and thyme essential oil and applied on rainbow trout had great antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. Another edible coating evaluated on port salut cheese with a starch, nissen and natamycin composition displayed antimicrobial and antifungical properties, extending the shelf life. An edible coating with carboxymethyl cellulose. Polyvinylic alcohol and garlic extract was applied on chicken and good mechanical and barrier properties were obtained along with antimicrobial activity. The end.